Day two of the Draw Along show for this week. It's Thursday. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Remember, all ages, all skill levels are welcome for this show, where we do some step-by-step -step drawing together, followed by something that changes every episode. It could be an art tip, could be art vocabulary, could be one of my favorite books off that bookshelf behind me. Sometimes I like to talk a little bit about just general art advice. We call that serious advice with funny faces. Um, you know, it's just always something different in the middle of the show. And then at the end, we do the animal and activity game where you will suggest for me an animal doing something funny, strange, unexpected, bizarre, and I will draw that for you in the time remaining. And all of this we cram into about 27 minutes. Amazing. All right. Now to do this show, you have to have something to draw with. So it could be a pencil, it could be a crayon, a marker, a pen, or you could grab yourself a nice kitchen knife and you could uh, you know cut up some avocado and then you could uh, grab a chopstick and you could stick it in the guacamole that you've just made and then you could draw all over the wall um, listen I'm just trying to throw out some ideas I don't know I'm spitballing here so do what you want let's say hi to some folks in the chat over here on Behance hi clever nice to see you Hello, Chris. Nice to see you as well. I see Emmanuel is here, and Fabio, and Umicorn, and I also see Sam. Thank you for joining us. Everybody, if you're watching over on YouTube or on Twitter or Facebook, remember that I'm following the chat over on behance.net slash live. So if you want to talk to me, that's where you need to go. Hey, I hope you're all watching the Olympics and having fun with that. I'm tuning into the uh, highlights when I can. Um, quick question for you. Why did Cinderella never win her Olympic tennis matches? Well, she uh, had a pumpkin for a coach and she always ran away from the ball. <laughs> let's let that one sink in. Okay, I think it's time for us to draw. So let's get ready, get your supplies together, and let's get cracking. Got some other folks joining us. What's up, Steven? Nice to see you. And hello, Brian. Folks, as you come into the chat, why don't you tell everybody where you're from? Nice to know where everybody's watching from. All right, to do these drawings, those of you who watched before know that there are three simple things that we do. One is a straight line. And when I say straight, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, so don't you sweat that. Zigzag. And we have our nice friend, the curvilinear line. Okay, it could be an S curve, C curve. You get the idea. If you can do these, you can follow along. Now today, we're gonna to start with a straight line, okay? And we're then gonna draw a line right from the top of it off to the left that is the same length. See that? And then we'll do another one down this way. So it's like we're starting out to draw a square. We draw the first three lines of a square, and that's the beginning of our drawing. Now I'm going to draw a very wide V shape down here at the bottom. So down towards the middle, all right, see that? And then from this side, down towards the middle. And that is the bottom of our first shape that we've drawn. All right, let's keep it going. Line right here, okay, pretty close to the top, as you can see. And just under here, watch this, I'm gonna do a sideways V, sideways V. Okay, same over here, sideways V, one and two. And then over here, down towards the bottom, I'm going to do a straight line, okay, followed by a C curve like that. Alrighty. Now up over the top here, I'm going to do some nice curvilinear lines that are bumpy, like broccoli. Check it out. Bump, 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 bump. All right. Uh, Laura, thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. And hello, Charmaine from Vancouver. Very cool. 
Bernadette, what's up? Thanks for joining us as well. Nathan's here from Florida. Excellent. All right, gang. Now, off here to the right and the left, right next to these V-shapes, check it out. Little C-curve there, little C-curve on the other side. So lots of symmetry going on in this drawing so far, right? Lots of symmetry, as we often do. Um, we have symmetry all the time in these, and uh, that's just what we do. Okay. Now, to continue, we are going to do the longest lines yet of uh, this drawing. And what you can probably tell from what we've drawn here is a face, right? So starting right here, okay, where this headband ends, I'm going to draw up at an angle to about here. All right, check it out. I'm just going to go up this way to about there. I want you to do the same thing over on this side. What I like to do sometimes is give myself a little dot, something to aim for. So I'm going to pop over here and say, all right, I think that looks like about the right spot to hit. Okay, I'm trying to make these pretty symmetrical. All right, so I'm going to pop up this way, like that. Now they don't have to be perfect. They have to just be kind of close to each other. So there you go. A little circle up here, something more like an oval, I guess, like kind of like a dinner roll kind of a shape. Okay, see what I mean? All right, now, right here from the angle, uh, I'm sorry, from the, uh, the corner of the jaw here, from this corner and that corner. From this one first, I'm gonna drop down this away and then over to about here. Make a little mark right there. Okay, got something to aim for. Same over here. If you don't make those clicking sounds uh, with your mouth, okay, probably not gonna work out as well. Sound effects are important when you draw. Now here I'm going to do a line that starts out straight and then has a little bump in it and then bumps on down this way. Check it out. Straight bump. And a nice big bump down to there. Straight bump. And a nice big bump down to there. Okay, it's our friend the curvilinear line. We call that a shallow curve, shallow curve. All right, so far, so great. Now, from here, drop down this way and drop down that way. How far, you might ask? Well, let's look at the first line we drew. Remember that line right there? We're drawing it slightly longer than that, okay? So maybe down to here, down to there, about that far. Okay. Now, out here from that ear, okay? Just in the middle of it, the bottom half here. Clunk, go down that way, and clunk, go down that way. All right, everybody hanging tight? Everybody good? Now, here comes a nice big C-curve bump. We go bump and bump, all right? Just like that. And we go bump and bump. Okay, now from here, I'm just gonna drop straight down, okay? Straight on down, about that far. And on the outside here, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna curve it out and come on in. Watch this, curve it out, come on in, stop a little short of where this line ends. Same on this side, straight down, okay? And on the outside, curve it out and come on in short of where that one ends, okay? Now we could extend these a little ways if you want, all right? We've got to have some space. Look at about how much room I'm giving myself between where this line ends and the bottom of these two lines, all right? The next step is this. I'm going to straight on out this away, straight on out that away, okay? And here, I'm going to do a nice curvilinear line. It's going to be a C-curve. It's going to go up and just kiss that line right there and down, okay? Up and down, all right? Those don't have to be perfectly identical. Don't you sweat it, not a big deal. And here I'm gonna go straight across and then another little bump for a C-curve. Straight across, another little bump for a C-curve. I'll pause for a moment for everybody to catch up, see how we're doing, check it out. Remember, these are always available on replay. You can watch them on YouTube, you can watch them on Behance. They're always there for you when you need them, okay? Um, Chris says, I agree, sound effects all the time, along with funny faces. Yes, those two things always help with your drawing. I agree. Alrighty. Now, um, let's look at the distance between the bottom of the foot and the top of the knee right there. I want you to come one third of the way down from there, okay? And then just do that. Draw a nice line across, okay? About a third. See that? Uno, dos, tres. And now between these two knees, watch what we do. We're going to take that curve that's already happening there. 
I'm going to carry it over here, dip, and connect to that curve. Check it out. Dip like this, and then up to meet the other one. See that? It's a nice shape right there. We got that nice C curve to C curve to C curve. Alrighty. And right here, I just did a little line right there or some socks. All right. And check out this simple trick for a knee. One, two, and a one, two. Look at that. Doesn't get any easier than that, folks. All right, now in between this hand and that hand, I'm going to do a very shallow C curve. Check it out. Oh, like that. Okay. Barely curving at all, but there's a curve. Can't do that again. You can check it out. I'll go slowly. Slow, 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 slow. Okay. And imagine it comes out the other side. Bam. And bam. Alrighty. And then here we do our weights. One, two, three. Okay. And then a little notch at the end. See that? One, two, three, and a little notch at the end. Okay. Everybody good? I noticed my spacing there is a little off, so I'll correct that. I'm going a little fast here. I should slow down. There's no hurry. There. A little bit better. Okay. Now, there is our power lifter. How about some action lines? Okay. Or in this case, maybe lines of physical exertion. Okay. You can put whatever flag you want, whatever nationality, on the shirt, okay? And then here's that little trick we sometimes do. We take some diagonal lines and we just throw them down there and that adds some grounding, right? It grounds the figure. It's kind of like suggesting a shadow if you like. Um, always a good little trick right there. Slide this person over here, this power lifter. Olympic powerlifter. I don't know if you guys caught what happened. Um, Philippines got a gold medal for women's powerlifting. That was pretty exciting. I think it was their, their first one. You want to add some fingers here. You can go one, two, one, two, three. That's kind of fun. Uh, simple little way to do that if you like. Okay. There is our power lifter. I need to fix this eye a little bit, kind of make it a little bit more symmetrical. There we go. You don't have to be a perfectionist like me. You know, perfectionism is uh, maybe not a very good quality, but I'm stuck with it. Okay, check it out. That is our You Draw It for today. Um, we are now going to move on to a little art tip. We haven't done one of those in a little while, and I think it's important that we do them. So I'm going to preview what that looks like, and I think you'll get the gist. We're talking about trees today. Now, when it comes to drawing trees, a common mistake people make is they kind of get fixated on one single shape. And then they wind up repeating that because they get comfortable with it, they get used to it, and it just becomes their sort of go-to shape for trees. But hey, when you're going out for a walk next time in nature, look around and look at all the many different shapes and kinds of trees there are and see if you can simplify them down to some very basic shapes. And this is a really simple exercise you can do to help yourself to arrive at some good ones. Now what I like to do is take one kind of shape and then repeat it a few times. So why don't we even take something like this, like a sort of rectangle kind of a shape. All right, and then maybe I stretch it this way. And then maybe I put one down here. Okay, and I can take this same shape that I've repeated and, and distort it slightly. And then I can just throw a little trunk right there. All right, I can say, now how can I turn that into a tree? Okay, so one branch coming out that way, one up this way, right, coming out that way. And all of a sudden we have a nice shape that we can construct our tree out of, right? And what you do is you continue to do this exercise with different shapes. All right, so check this one out. I'm going to do this kind of a shape. Okay? And as I go up, I'm just going to make these a little smaller. So there's another one. And don't forget, this is important. Check this out. Look what I just did there. I overlapped. All right, let's push that out a bit more. I overlapped those shapes. Why? Well, remember, if you're looking from a bird's eye view down at a tree, trees do not grow with all of the branches growing out in one single direction on either side symmetrically of the trunk. No, of course not. They're growing in three dimensions, right? Those branches are growing in all directions. And so if you're looking at a tree, some branches are actually facing you. Some are facing directly away from you. Some are off to the sides. But the common mistake people make is that they just draw the branches off to the sides, and that's not really what happens. 
So if you do this exercise, it helps you just to do some overlapping. Okay, now there's a different shape tree right there. And then what if I do this? I'll just take this shape, okay? And we'll do this, and that, and maybe this, okay? And I can say, yeah, that's looking good, okay? And then I'll do a nice big one down here, and a little one right there. And we say, okay, great. There's another shape, All right? You can just keep doing this. You can create shape after shape after shape using this little method. All right, now, what do you do next? Okay, so you could draw these very faintly if you like with your pencil or whatever. Now you can come over the top and you can actually start designing and drawing the tree itself, right? To make this work and say, okay, that's gonna be a nice collection of foliage right there. Whereas up here, I've got another nice collection over here, another one, ja, 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 ja. okay? And you can see how this might work and how it can get you to a place where you've got a real tree shape, okay? And then same over here, I can say, okay, I'm gonna come up with my trunk and maybe out here with my branches and the foliage sort of sits over there, right? And up and out, and then more of the same here. Bump, 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 right? Got more branches up this, okay? And that's how we do it, okay? Um, now, of course, I went through that very quickly. You would slow down, you take your time to make this look good. But hopefully this makes sense and hopefully you'll give this a try and what'll happen is you'll expand your tree drawing vocabulary. Very important to do that, okay? Oh, I was just about to say animal and activity time, but no, it is in fact time for appreciation station. So today we are appreciating our good friend. You can see this, Bernadette. Can you see that, Bernadette? Boop, boop, boop. Gotta get in front of my camera, there you go. Bernadette, you might not remember this, this is a long time ago, but we were in New York for Fashion Week and we were designing some dresses. Uh, this is about 1992. I was responsible for uh, sewing up uh, Claudia Schiffer's new gown for the runway and I spilled coffee all over the piece of paper where I'd written down her measurements. It was completely ruined. I said, now what are we gonna do? We only got a, a day left. And you said, don't worry, uh, I know her number. And you're friends with all these people, these famous people. This is what always happens. Every time we're hanging out, I say, hey, you know, I just saw a movie with so-and-so. And, -so. and so you say, oh yeah, I had coffee with that person. So sure enough, you called up Claudia. She gave you the measurements. We got the gown made. Looked great on the runway and everything was all good. So I want to thank you for being so popular with all the A-list celebs. It's really something. So thanks for coming through on that one. All right, now back to the animal and activity game. This is where you will suggest for me an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, unexpected in the chat. Go ahead and write down in the chat what you want me to draw. Yesterday, we had a hedgehog that was uh, kayaking down some rapids. Um, we have done a Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, uh, knitting. We have done skydiving animals. We've done so many cool things and it's all thanks to your imagination. And so I'll be looking for your suggestions in the chat. And while you get that ready, I am of course gonna grab my nice light blue color to sketch with, as we always do. And some of you might be wondering what that's inspired by. Well, it's from the uh, non-photo blue pencils that I loved in college. They were these blue pencils you could draw with and you could ink over them. And then when you photocopied it, the light blue pencil did not reproduce. So you just got those nice, rich black lines from your inking. Yep, yeah, that color looks good to me. I'm ready to go. Let's see what you've come up with. Remember, suggestions have to be made at be.net slash live. I'm looking at that chat. I'm not looking at YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. Here we go. We have a clownfish doing stand-up comedy. That's funny, Chris. I like that. Um, a panda drinking tea while snowboarding. That's a lot going on there, Laura. A lion whitewater rafting. Well, we just, we just did the kayaking. Salty sea otter <laughs> ship captain. Very good, clever. Um, little shout out there to our sea captain friend who shows up in the show sometimes. An orangutan doing rock climbing. Ooh, that's interesting. 
orangutan, how do I draw that? I'm trying to picture their head. Um, a grasshopper playing hockey. Nice. Uh, that's from Uma Koren. Photocopy pencils are awesome. Yes, Chris, I agree. Um, a wealthy otter, says Nathan. A wealthy otter. A lot of otters. People like otters. A puppy skydiving, says Bernadette. Uh, very nice. A poodle making pizza, says Brian. Um, I like that one, too. Brian, I don't think I've ever done one of your drawing suggestions, and so I would like to do that. Um, and for those of you who have drawn your stuff before, I apologize, but I, I don't think I've ever drawn one of Brian's, so I want to see if I can do that. Um, all right, so let's see. Poodle making pizza. All right, let's get that poodle head there. We like to try and, you know, give everyone a chance with this. And uh, some of you, I know, I've, I know I've drawn your your stuff before. So, uh, but that doesn't mean I won't do it again. You know I will. I promise. Okay, poodle is making pizza. So, let's give him that chef collar and. Other arm is coming up this way. Standing by the behind the counter here. Got his uh, ingredients here on the carving board. Meanwhile, he's flipping up that, tossing up that dough there. Okay. I'm just gonna have a tail popping up there in the back so we can see we know what's going on here. Let's get that shape a little bit better up there. There we go. I like that sketch, it looks pretty good to me. I'll just make it a hair larger, okay? And we'll knock it back a little hair. Grab our darker blue color, make a new layer. And uh, let's do it. One, two, three, and four, here we go. Collar like so. And around we go with the uh, sleeve. And down. This other arm is going to carry on back that away. One hand. Other one reaching up this away. T 
tossing that up in the air. There's a little tail right there. Got to add those darker areas like that. Straight across we go. Here comes that dough. Whoops. One, two, and three. Okay. And uh, let's just suggest this stuff here on the counter in front of our friend here who's making the pizza. Got some ingredients. Gonna have some other stuff here in front so we get the gist. Let's hide that sketch and there you go. All right, Brian, good suggestion. But I loved all of your suggestions as usual, gang. Excellent, very creative um, as you always are. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for the Draw Along Show. Uh, both yesterday and today. Um, now tomorrow is my illustration masterclass and tomorrow we're going to talk about the art of caricature. Try and give you some tips on this very tricky and sometimes frustrating but ultimately very rewarding and fun art form. Um, so we're going to be doing that tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remember to be kind and uh, I will say ciao for now. <laughs>